Hey YouTube, it's that time again, and also a good opportunity for me to work on my camera control with this littler camera. Talking softly, because the microphone's right on the top. We're on to the next part of my telephone display. The other day, we went over those guys there. Now, we're on to this one, and next will be this one. Well, let's start out with a very important phone. It may not be really old. It's actually 1980s, but this one here is what got me started. That's my first one. It's a Vatic phone. It's got like a modem port on the back of it, too. Typical 500 set. I mean, there's nothing really uncommon about it. Just got an extra jack on the back. This here is an intercom phone, automatic electric. I don't know the model number right off. Up here we've got princesses. Several different colors, touch tone and rotary. This is a cool payphone. Currently it's not working. I need to get that to work. It's like what you'd see at a hotel or motel years ago. Pink. Even toy phones and little demo phones are included. GTE Starlight. I don't have a whole lot of them right now. Uh, an AE80. The ADE. Payphone magnet. Used to ring when you push it, but Barry's dead. A trim line. Let's see this one. Newer touch tone. 554. I don't know what kind. This is a new. Roaring 20s. Made in Japan. Made it look like an old candlestick. Line runs pliers. Bell system. Bell system brush. Punch down tool. Phone pouch. Van, a little phone van, a little bucket truck back there, another little tiny van. The Fisher Price Giggly phone. I bet a lot of you remember those from a kid, being kids. Uh, an old dry cell battery. That's kind of cool. Dead. Rubber insulator. The orange thing's a telephone line marker. You'd bury it in the ground, and there's a tool that can detect it for like locating splices. An old Stromberg Carlson. Uh, office phone looks a lot like a call director from Western Electric but this one is in fact Stromberg Carlson. Now this is cool. I haven't seen a lot of these. This is a sales demo for the different colors of phones. I think it would have been used in like the, the Bell System phone store or whatever. I think I paid like 30 bucks for that little thing. Another Starlight and a part of a TV. I want to say this is called a Genie phone. That one back there, and then one of the common Japanese French phones, but hey, it's rotary. Very similar, looks identical to that one. Another old 500, just did a video on that other one. This one's 56. Insulators, lineman's test set, tone dialers for using touch tone on rotary. Puts out the touch, touch tone noises. Uh, an Executone intercom, but it's cool and retro. Ah, fiber optic cable. A lot of it. Telephone signs. All obtained legally, too. Okay, this is a German payphone. Pretty cool. Takes Deutschmarks, their currency. Euro style handset. There's the coin return. It's locked right now. I have the key for it though. Not with me. Bell system phone jacks. The old four pin kind. Which you don't see anymore. Another um, this one actually might be western electric. Ah, if I don't break everything. Yeah, that's a design line. Western electric. Um, Sculptura. I've always called it the pancake phone, I know there's an official name for it. And the phone guy, he's up there too. Another classic 500, this one's kind of dinged up. 53, but I don't think it's actually all original. It's got some, it's been redone. It's got a new cord, and new handset. Another Sculptura, another design line. I want to, I forget what that one's called. Um, oh, and the little turquoise guy back here. It's another design line, Western Electric. Yeah, oh, and if you're wondering what's in here. Phones that I don't have room for, phone parts. 
all these drawers are full of that. Tons of it. Well, that's it for now. Uh, if you'd like, give me a little constructive criticism on my camera usage. Do you like the way I do it? Is it too shaky? Uh, let me know. Well, thanks for watching and have a good week.